Welcome to Study Orgo's edition of the explanation of a dehydration reaction mechanism. In this reaction, an alcohol is reacted in concentrated acids such as sulfuric acid and refluxed with heat to form the product alkene. This reaction eliminates a molecule of water, hence the term dehydration. A proton on an alpha carbon next to the alcohol will lead to the formation of an H2O molecule, hence water and dehydration. Let's take a look at the reaction mechanism. To start the mechanism, concentrated acid will react with the solvent water to form a hydronium ion H3O+. This will serve as a catalyst for the reaction. A catalyst is a molecule that starts a reaction but is reformed at the end of the reaction to begin a new round of the reaction, which we will see in just a few steps. Although this reaction has its own name, this reaction, dehydration of alcohols, is an example of an E1 elimination mechanism. The alcohol attacks the hydronium ion with lone pairs of electrons on the oxygen and removes a proton from the hydronium ion to regenerate water. Remember that positively charged intermediates, such as the hydronium ion now on the alcohol, are very good leaving groups. So a water molecule breaks off of the alcohol and forms an intermediate carbocation. Remember the rules for carbocation stability. Because of inductive effects, which come from electrons being donated from the carbon-carbon bond towards the carbocation center, the most substituted carbocation is always the most stable. If complex molecules can form a more stable carbocation through alkyl shifts or halide shifts, then rearrangements of the product will be observed as the major product. In this case, the secondary carbocation is much more stable than the primary carbocation. In the final step of the reaction, the water molecule generated from the first step will now attack an alpha carbon proton. The carbon density from the carbon-hydrogen bond will be shifted towards the carbocation to form the product alkene and regeneration of the hydronium ion catalyst. We here at Study Orgo like to give you the tips and tricks to help you prepare for getting the mechanism right on your exam. Remember that the overall big picture of the reaction is a dehydration reaction of an alcohol using acid and heat to form a carbon-carbon double bond, an alkene product. The mechanism involves elimination of water via an E1 reaction mechanism. Remember that carbocation stability will determine the major product. When considering the regioselectivity of a reaction, remember that the Zeitzev product is usually formed, which means that when you choose which alpha carbon proton to remove to make the product, choose the alpha carbon proton that will make the most substituted double bond. That concludes our explanation of the dehydration reaction mechanism. We thank you for watching.